Okay, Gemini, so I recorded this whole video and um, it didn't record. So all the cards are still laid out here. This is how they ended up. So I'm just going to go through um, as I would normally, but except you won't see me shuffle. Okay, so. Um, what's currently going on for you guys is the Empress here and I feel like some of you during the month of June like it's more Gemini's that are extra freaking fertile than any other sign I feel like during this month um, and I do feel like some of you are already pregnant and may not even know it um, <clears throat> but this is about you getting yourself together and feeling secure in your life right now in every aspect of your life whether it's career whether it's your love life even if you're not seeing anybody you still are standing in your truth and you're comfortable where you are even if you aren't with anybody even if you're not having a sexual relationship you are quite okay with that because I think right now you're more focused on um, just being okay being fine okay being fine being still even um but there are some of you that are definitely wanting to uh, start new things new relationships i feel um some of you are ready you feel like you've worked on yourself and you're there you're ready okay and this is aries taurus and libra energy going on with the empress now what's currently going on for them is the eight of pentacles this is virgo's energy and they may be really like throwing themselves into work here um but more than that i feel like this person is focusing on themselves they are really like um throwing themselves into work to basically deflect from what's going on around them okay that is what makes them feel secure when they go to work and then they have just that to focus on and nothing else so that's where they are right now with the eight of pentacles energy working on themselves really like throwing themselves into work to deflect i feel like this person's deflecting okay so <clears throat> what it is that you want the lovers you want the love of your life you want somebody that fulfills every part of you sexually emotionally mentally some of you want to get married but you definitely want that person to be all that you envision okay could definitely be another Gemini energy here for you guys or somebody that has Gemini in their chart what they want is a six of swords here Aquarius energy this person is just wanting to move on they're wanting to stop thinking about uh, whatever happened between you and them okay but you see those six swords behind them that hurt is still there and it's still in the back of their mind now just because they're trying to move on does not mean that they have forgotten you or mean that they don't care about you it's just that it hurts so bad that they feel like they have no other choice but to move on move forward and to stop trying to think about this and that is why that eight of pentacles is there because they they are really using their work to divert their attention from what it is that's really going on and that's all of these feelings and all of, all of this disappointment surrounding um, not being with you guys or whatever happened between you guys okay so what is it that Gemini really needs the seven of swords Aquarius energy again is showing up here um, to decide to fight for you to fight for what it is that you believe in to do what's best for you so even though you have these feelings for this person still this person is choosing to stick their head in the sand okay they're choosing to move on they're trying to stop thinking about you so at this point it's best to do what is good and necessary for you okay 
Now what they need is the moon, which is Cancer's energy here. They need to figure out what it is that they really want. They need to address and face their fears. There's something that they're not seeing. They're not seeing something clearly. Their emotions are pushed so far down till it's making them miserable, actually. They're not addressing what needs to be addressed. And that's the, their feelings for you. Some of them may have um, mother issues, childhood issues. There's something that this person needs to address that has absolutely nothing to do with you. Okay? They may need to sit down and have a talk with their mother even. Maybe there's been a strained relationship. Something like that. Okay? Now, is there somebody involved for you guys at this point? And we have the Nine of Pentacles. I don't think so. The Nine of Pentacles screams a single person, right? This is all about you. All about securing your bag. All about uh, getting back your strut. Gaining your self-confidence. If you are seeing somebody, it's not serious. You know, it's something that you're just doing. But I feel like a lot of you guys are not seeing anyone. You're just concentrating on doing you, basically. But that is Virgo's energy here. Okay. Is there somebody involved for them? The first card I pulled, I actually... Two cards are trying to jump out. The first one I pulled was the devil here, Capricorn energy. And as far as them being involved with somebody, they may be having a sexual relationship. Quite possibly. I feel like they are. But I don't feel like it's anything serious. You guys know that old adage, how to get over somebody. You get under somebody. And that's another way I feel like this person is trying to get over you. They're trying to not, um, not, they're trying to not address their feelings, address the core issue is what they're doing by using somebody else's body and basically using their own body because this person is not a happy camper from what I can see. Okay, does every card want to come out? The Six of Cups. That is because they cannot get you off their brain. They're constantly thinking about you. They're constantly thinking about um, the good times that you guys share. This person really loves you. But these are feelings that are hidden here with this moon energy. Feelings that they are trying so hard to suppress. With the Six of Cups, this person does not look at you like you were just somebody else that they were with. This person looks at you like you were their person. That there was something, you know, beyond this world that they had with you. This is like more of a soul connection. They looked at you like you were family. They still look at you like you were family. I don't know what happened between you two. But they are constantly reminded of their feelings for you. They're trying so hard here to forget and move on. But this is here. It's clear. Okay. They want this. Now, is it likely that you guys are going to get back together? We have the Seven of Wands here. I don't feel like it's likely. Not in the month of June. Not with the Seven of Wands. Because the Seven of Wands is like you in battle mode. And Sevens are single energy just like Nines are. Okay? Until you come down to that Six of Wands. That, that unity. That wanting togetherness. That wanting to be recognized and go out. And, you know, being flirty and shit. Then, no, it's not likely. I don't see it for the month of June anyway. Okay, because until you guys can get on the same page, then it's, it's not likely to happen this month, guys. 
Okay, so that is what I have for you, and um, I will be speaking with you guys soon.